I'm a little late to this. About a year late. But I thought it should be shared. Okay. Tony Moran. He's the guy who played 1978 Michael Myers for about 3 seconds. The scene where Laurie rips the mask off of him and you can see his face. That's Tony. He didn't play any other part in that movie. Nick Castles played the rest of the shape. Now. Tony is known for being a huge asshole. That's his thing. He's just a jackwagon whose whole personality is his arrogance. Most of his income comes through the horror conventions he goes to, he charges people for the autograph. Which honestly he was in the movie for a matter of a few seconds, you aren't that special man. Anyways he called his fans losers and said. You gonna jerk off to that later, regarding the signings. I'll let you take a look at it. He said that to the- Here's I want your autograph. I'm like, you want my fucking autograph dude? You're a fucking loser. <laughs> I mean seriously, right? Because I'm only- you only see my face for fucking three seconds or whatever it is. You're a fucking loser dude. You know? That's just true life. That, you know? And, and it's- You want me to sign my fucking name on here? He goes, yeah. I'm like, oh, fine. Whatever dude. You know? What are you gonna do? Go jack off at home off of this shit or what? You know? You know, because he's got everybody else's signature. You're like, you really need a l I didn't say this, but I'm thinking you really need a life, bro. He said that to the fans who just paid for his autograph. Huge dick. On top of that, he talks shit on Tyler Maine. The guy who played Michael in the 2007 and 2009 Rob Zombie movie. He gives himself a ton of credit when the guy played in the movie for three seconds. He proceeds to call him a faggot, cocksucker, and his bitch. Tyler is six foot nine and a huge guy in general. If he wanted to, he could smear the floor with Tony. Take a look. Uh -oh. Dan, I already told Dan the story. Okay. So you, there's two Michael Myers here? Well, well, I'm referring to Tyler Maine, who played... Uh, oh, Tyler Maine? Yes, yes. Oh. Oh, Tyler Maine, like two Michael Myers? He did the uh, he did the non John Carpenter stuff. He did the, uh, the, Rob, the Zombie Rob Zombie Michael stuff. Myers. Yes, yes. Was that like a Michael Myers? I, I mean, <laughs> was that was that was that like a Michael Myers guy? I I, I believe so. I could have <laughs> sworn I didn't mean I never saw the fucking movie, <laughs> and I won't, and I won't. But I could have sworn that version wasn't a Michael Myers cunt at all. Really? No, no, no. <clears throat> He's my bitch. <laughs> He's my bitch. <laughs> so that's my match. Uh -oh. My knife. Uh -oh. See, see, I was wondering if this was going to be a thing, and I'm kind of happy that it is. <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> not bad. So when we interview Tyler, is it going to be the same kind of... Well, oh, he can bring it up, what huh? I say. <laughs> okay. I have no problem. <laughs> he's my we'll, cocksucker. We'll roll, back, we'll roll back the tape, and we'll be like, guess yeah, what? No, no, he's my cocksucker. Oh, okay. And I told him so. Oh, snap. Because I, I never had a problem with Tyler. I mean, poor fucker's got to, you know, suck my cock, you know, to, <laughs> to, be, who he, to be who he is, right? Right. I got no problems with that. <laughs> I don't have a problem Everybody with that. Everybody in the business. <laughs> so I yelled across the room, which is not very far, and I said, well, Tyler Maine's my cocksucker. Without me, Tyler Maine won't, won't, wouldn't be who he is right now. So that makes him my cocksucker, right? <laughs> Doesn't that make him my cocksucker? <laughs> That that it's, that's uh, that sounds so like a, coming off. That sounds like if a I logic, didn't do what I did, like, I, I hear he doesn't get to be who he is, right? Right. Uh, I feel he doesn't get to do conventions and shit. <laughs> He's my cocksucker. <laughs> he seems that. like a he seems like this little typical Hollywood little faggot. You know what I mean? <laughs> that piece of shit. Getting, getting the real <laughs> inside the mask story. Right. Shit. Right. Truly inside the mask. And he <laughs> and he won't even fucking t today. I thought. For sure he's going to come up and confront me, you know, for calling him a cocksucker. <laughs> and he's still in, in front of ev all the fans. Like, I don't know, how many times did I say cocksucker to him? I don't know. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine times? Loud for everybody to hear. He yelled it across the room because he was across the room so he could hear. I didn't do it for myself. I did it for him. <laughs> See, he went beyond being my bitch. <laughs> and right into the cocksucker. Right into cocksucker. That's he he was powerful. way beyond my bitch. He became my cocksucker. I just really don't like this guy at all. I just don't like who he is as a human being, Dan. I just don't. He's a piece of shit. He's a typical Hollywood fucking cunt. Now, regarding all the shit he said about everyone to the fans to John Carpenter himself. I don't think he's straight up a bad guy. He did apologize for using the word faggot and I think he just puts on a persona. 
He thinks it's funny, and it'll make people like him. There hasn't been any issues I and so maybe he realized it wasn't cool, and fixed himself up. Thanks for watching, it's a strange first video but it's something. I thought there should be an updated video on this topic. See you next video.